Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B from 2006. This one's problem six. We have the integral from zero to pi over four, sine x, cosine 2x, dx. Okay, the first problem I notice here is just the fact that our angles don't match. We either want, I think what I want to do is I want everything to have an angle of x or 2x. And I think my preference is to use the double angle formula for cosine of 2x. We could do this a few different ways. And I think what I want to use for this is the identity that cosine 2x I can write as 2 cosine squared x minus 1. So I'll just rewrite our integral with this value plugged in. So we'll still have our bounds. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move the sine x and put it at the end. Because I'm trying to set up a u substitution. So I'm just going to put the sine x there and plug this value in here. So we'll have 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And I do it like this because I want to do a u substitution for cosine because the derivative of cosine is going to be minus sine x. So let's see how it works. So if I do my u sub and I'll set u equal to cosine of x, then du is going to be just minus sine x dx. And now just to line this up, we have sine x here, but we don't have the minus sign. I'll just create that by multiplying in minus. But I don't want to change it. I could bring a minus up front. I think what I'll do is multiply the minus in right here. So what we'll do, we'll change this to a plus and change this to a minus. So now we'll just go ahead with this substitution first, updating the bounds, pi over four, cosine at pi over four is gonna be, I'll write this as one over square root of two, and then zero, cosine of zero is just one. And then on this part, I'm just gonna swap the order. I'm gonna write this as one minus two u squared, and then this whole thing here, this is all just du. But now at this point, I think I made kind of a small mistake because I could have actually brought my minus sign out front and then used to swap the bounds, but I'll just do it now and change this sign back and then swap this. Let me just rewrite this. So what I'm gonna do is write it as going, we're gonna have the integral from one over square root of two to one, and I'll just change the order. I'll write this as two u squared minus one du. Then we'll just go ahead and integrate using power rule on this. So integral of two u squared is gonna be two thirds u cubed. Integral here is gonna give me minus u. And then we'll evaluate from one over square root of two to one. Plug it all in, so evaluating at one, this is gonna give me two thirds minus one. And let's evaluate this at one over square root of two. So let's see what happens. This is gonna be two over three. Square root of two cubed in here, I can write this as two times square root of two, and we can clean it up later. And then here, this is just gonna become one over square root of two. I can cancel my twos right here and have like a one in the numerator there. I can get a common denominator by multiplying by three over three here, but I'm kind of out of space. So let me clean up the board and we'll finish it off. Okay, so now just to simplify it so we can get our answer in a nice form, two thirds minus one here, this is gonna give me minus one over three. And then here we have the common denominators. This is actually gonna become minus two over three square root of two. Minus times minus here is a plus. And then actually what I can do is, let's just rationalize the denominator here. I think I made a mistake and did an extra step along the way somewhere, but I'm not too worried. So here, square root of two times square root of two is two, so I'm gonna cancel this with this here. And then now we just have the common denominator of three, so I can put this all together. So for my final solution, we'll just have square root of two minus one over three. Okay, so there you have it. Good one from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.